Praise God. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you, and uh, hopefully you had a uh, happy uh, Fourth of July. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Feliz domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you that are joining us at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And uh, Lord has something for you. Yeah. Be excited. Amen. Always come ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. I go, and you know what? I want to draw and say, Lord, I want something. Amen. Amen. You know, when Jesus went to visit or spend time with the Father, he knew he was going to get something because he went to draw. Amen. And we are to go and ask and get amen praise god so god has something for me amen and i want it today we're going to be talking about staying connected by staying plugged in amen you know if you want to use any of this uh electrical equipment you got to plug it in because the source is in 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 in, in the wall in the plug where you plug it in and there's the power amen and we have power if we stay connected and you know now we have great opportunities the enemy is going to see to it that we Disconnect, and when you disconnect, you're walking away from an uh, umbrella of protection, and you're walking away from God, Amen. Yeah. And there's no power there, you know. We've heard this many times, but uh, you know, uh, a part-time Christian is no good; is is no match to a full-time devil, right? Yeah. Amen. We're we're no match to the enemy. We need him. We need his source. We need his strength. We need that authority. He's given us authority. God sent Jesus, crucified Jesus. And Jesus went and did all this, and he paid the price for our salvation. Yeah. He gave us authority. He says, go, amen, and we're to go. We have his authority to go, amen. So don't be a cowardly Christian. Huh? Don't be a lazy Christian. Amen. Don't be a part-time Christian. Be a full-time Christian, amen, and be there and say, I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yeah. me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Don't just say, well, somebody else will pass them to do it. Somebody else will do it. No, you. Amen. God chose you. He says he called you, equipped you with any, anything and everything needed for you to fulfill your mission. Amen. So see yourself as a somebody, not a nobody. All this time, people have told you that you're a nobody, mm. but you are somebody. Amen. You know, when you get in the word of God and you find out what the word of God says about you, I say, oh, praise God. Mm. I can do all things through Christ. Mm. I'm a winner. And I'm going to press on with the things of God. And uh, we have a great message for you, so be ready to receive. Amen. Amen. So praise God. God wants to bless you, encourage you, and change you, and correct us. Amen. And just want to tell you all the time, <laughs> don't leave like you came. Leave change. Amen. Amen. Leave change. You know, when you charge a battery, <laughs> it, it ain't uncharged anymore. It's charged up. So when you come, you know, be charged up. Amen. And when you spend time with Him, you don't have to come to this building we're the church. We're the body of Christ. Amen. This is a building. Yes. But when you spend time with him and you get all charged up and stirred up, you know, you can go and do all things for him. Amen. So I'm just encouraging you because there's so many, uh, if, if all you do is listen to all the negative reports, you're going to be defeated. So don't be defeated. Amen. Yeah. You are somebody and you can do all things through Christ. Amen. Now I'm talking to somebody because... <laughs> Amen. Don't be that uh, undefeated or, or defeated Christian. Mm -hmm. Be a winner. Be yeah. a champion. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Be uh, the light to this dark world. Amen. Go and bring the good news to this sad world. All you, mm -hmm. you turn the TVs on, anything you turn on is then but sad news. Mm -hmm. And you're the good news going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to welcome all those that are joining us by audio and video. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So get excited. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. I want to read you a couple of things that we're going to talk about. And one of them is, if you have never read my uh, scripture break, let me, let me read it to you for this morning. It says, draw to him. Draw close to him. Draw close to him and answer uh, the answer to all your problems in him. The answer to all your problems in him. The provision for all your needs in him. The wisdom that you are after in him. Everything uh, your heart desires, hope, and dreams are in him. Seek, chase, pursue him at a new level. Draw close to him, and he will draw closer to you. Look, delight yourself in him. He will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 
I want to use Facebook to reach people, encourage people, amen, so they can read and find out God has great things for them. Amen. The word of God will set you free. It says the truth will set you free. It's time when we get up and do something. You know, we've let everybody beat us down. It's time that we stir ourselves up and get up and start reading what the word of God says so we can be free. Amen. We have the word in us and it's going to set us free. Amen. Here's another one. <laughs> A lot of you have already read this, but uh, I'm going to read it to you anyway. It says God is bigger than. Yeah. God is bigger than. Uh -huh. Your past. Yeah. Some of you need to let go of your past. You already, you be, I mean, you're camped out. You're in prison. You gotta, you've been released. Amen. You've been released. God is bigger than your past. God is bigger than your fears. Amen. Some of us are scared to go out, you know, because of coronavirus. Uh -huh. You know, well, I'm not. <laughs> your sickness. God is bigger than your sickness. Amen. Whatever, whatever, whatever you, sickness is attacking you right now. I call it gone in Jesus' name. Amen. By Jesus' stripes we're healed. Amen. Whatever sickness you have, just name it and say, you know what? By Jesus' stripes I'm healed. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Lord. It says, you're depression. So you're depressed about all these things that are happening because you need to fill yourself up with the word of God. Amen. You need to fill yourself. Well, you know when you, you, you fill yourself with the word, you build your faith. Uh -huh. Amen. When you build your faith, your fears is gone. Your depression is gone. Amen. All these other things is gone. Amen. Keep yourself up and up. Amen. <laughs> Your pain is gone. Hey, <laughs> I can join that. <laughs> the pain is gone. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> hate. There's so much hatred going on right now, you know. <laughs> God is bigger than <laughs> hate. God is bigger than your anger. You know, you get mad, you can't do it. It ain't going to help you. No. You know, you pray about it. Give it to God. It says, cast all your cares on me because I care for you. He's bigger than your doubts. He's bigger than your, than your lack. I don't have anything. Well, he's bigger than your lack. And he'll supply all of your needs. Amen. <laughs> he's bigger than your shame. You know, people try to shame you because you're not good enough. Or you don't have what people say you need to, 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 to succeed. Mm -hmm. But you do have. Amen. You do have. Let me read this to you. God is bigger than this world. Yeah. Any mountain or anything coming against you, whatever is coming against you, uh -huh. might be different than some of us. But whatever is coming against you, my God is bigger. The only thing we need to do is we've got to stay connected. And we got to yeah. come back like a prodigal son and come back to God and say, I need your help. Yeah, we need it. We can't succeed. We can't live. And we can't make it without his help. Amen. Praise God. Lord. It says magnify him and not the care. Magnify him and not the problem. Magnify him and not the trouble. Yes. Amen. Not the sickness, not the situation, whatever the situation happens to be. Amen. We need to magnify him. We need to remember this. And we, you know, you get around people and all they do is complain. So make sure that, that doesn't come to us. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Mm -hmm. Amen. And don't let no nobody's storm come in and interrupt your peace. Mm, amen. amen. Give them some of your peace instead of them giving you your storm. We're so easy to, to take instead of giving. He made us to give, be givers. Amen. Praise God. Oh, come on. The right, Bible says you can do all oh, things amen. through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So listen to this. <laughs> Child of God, it's time you got up. It's Amen. time to press on yeah. and step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Who's, who's, who's are you and who's backing you? God is. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when you know these things, you know, I'm looking for some devils. I'm looking for some, some giants. You know? Glory. Come on, bring it on. Let's get it on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Woo. That's, we haven't even started yet. <laughs> <coughs> Praise God. Grab your Bibles and say it like a man at church. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'm never going to say it in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Man, that is so good. Amen. Praise God.
you can do all things through him. Amen. Amen. I mean, that's a, that's a good confession right there. Mm -hmm. So praise God. And here's what we're talking about. We're praying. We're talking about staying connected. Mm -hmm. You see the plug up there? Well, it's got to be plugged somewhere. Uh -huh. If you got, if it's got a plug, it's got to be connected to some source. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to be any good. Yeah. We got to stay connected to him. Amen. And we're going to be talking about the scripture. Go to the next one, okay? Here's a scripture. This is our, our, our text. In uh, John uh, 15, 5, in the New King James Version, says, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Oh. He who abides in me, and I in him, beareth much fruit. For without me, you can do what? Nothing. 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 <laughs> we need him. And guess what? The enemy knows this. Yes. And you know, you may be a Christian, but you go around saying all these negative things. So guess what? Guess who's listening? <laughs> We're opening the door for the enemy to come <laughs> and, and, and have his way. And then you then, and then you think about why why are these all these things happening to me? And you think, you meditate and find out. Well, I've been confessing the wrong things. You've been confessing it, all the negative things, you know? We need to go confess the positive things and confess the word of God, amen? Uh, I think uh, we talked about faith-filled words. Uh -huh. Speak faith-filled words and not negative words. Uh, Proverbs 18, 20, uh, is it 20, 22? Let's go down. Proverbs, using a word so I can be right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs 18, 21. Yeah, that was close. Proverbs 18, 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So you're enjoying your fruit, whether it be negative or positive, you're enjoying it because it's coming in you. It's not going to somebody else, it's coming in you. Amen? And you notice that it says, the power of the tongue means the power of your words are powerful. Words are powerful. The containers, they're containing uh, life or death. Amen? And you're releasing them. When you speak them, you're releasing those things to happen in you. So let's be careful and let's change. Lord, I want to change. Amen? Yeah. That's what you can say. Lord, I want to change. Help change me. Amen? And we can start with confessing the right things. Amen? Woo! Praise God. So stay connected. Stay plugged in. Draw close to God and he'll do what? He'll draw close to us. Yeah. Amen. But we have to make that step. We got to take those steps of faith too. And to come to him and draw close to him. And he'll draw close to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, go to the next one. Come. There we go. Matthew 11, 28, 30. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Yeah. Take my yoke upon you and lean and learn it. And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, yes. uh -huh. and you shall find rest unto your yes. soul. Yes. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. So we gotta draw Amen. close to Him. Amen. Yes. Praise God. He's gonna help us. He wants to help us. Amen. But you know, a lot of times He's knocking and we're not letting Him in. Uh -huh. Amen. And right. we have our minds so full of, of things to do that we have no time for God. Uh -huh. So we need to make time for Him. If you stay plugged in, you'll always have time for him. Amen. Amen. James 4, 7, and 8 says, Therefore, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee. And you know why? He wants to be busy around you. <laughs> because he wants to hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. He wants to watch your words, watch your actions. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy is seeing. Amen. Not only the, the world watching, but the enemy is listening. Amen. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> Whoo! Draw, uh, the rest of it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to us. Mm -hmm. So we have to take those steps. Amen. We have to take those steps of faith and walk to him. The Amplified says this, so submit to the authority of God, resist the devil, stand firm against him and he will flee from you. Come close to God with a contrite heart and he will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinner, and purify your unfaithful hearts you double-minded people. Mm. It says resist. Mm -hmm. You have to do the resisting. Yeah. God is getting done his part. We got to do our part. Yeah. Amen. We got to do our part now. Yeah. 
Amen. So we just can't sit and say, well, Lord, you just do it all. Well, you just get, well, I'm born again now, so yeah, I'm saved. You know, we got work to do. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. We're just getting started. We got things to do. Praise God. Yeah, Pastor, but you don't know all the things, all these problems and all these things that's Praise coming God. against you. Well, if you mark these scriptures down that we give you, this be good for you. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark this down. First Peter 5, 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. New King James says what? Casting all your care upon yeah. him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, yeah. walks about roaring as like a roaring lion seeking uh -huh. whom he may devour. Yeah. So we talked about that a few minutes ago. Uh -huh. The enemy, the devil, is yeah. going around as a roaring lion seeking yeah. whom he may devour. How does he know? Because he hears you. Mm -hmm. Because he see he hears the words you're saying. Yeah. Words are carriers. Yes, they are. Amen. Words are carriers. Seeds. Mm -hmm. Uh, words are seed, yes. and you plant them, amen. So uh -huh. you be careful, amen. So praise God, yeah. Who, Lord, amen. the word of God tells us be sober, be vigilant, because mm -hmm. your adversary, the devil, walk, walketh, walks about as a roaring lion, uh -huh. seeking who he may devour. Bible tells us in John 10 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, amen. amen? amen. Yes. If you're in sin, everything might be going mm -hmm. good, but you try to get out of sin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he's going to give you all kind of help. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the hard part. <laughs> yeah. Amen. But we can still get out. Amen. Yeah. Confess. Yeah. Confess unto yeah. him. Yeah. And he'll forgive you. Yeah. And start living for him. Amen. Yeah. Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. But you you know, if you get too involved and wrapped around in, in all these negative things, You'll start to fear, and you know, and, and, and instead of being connected, you're going to disconnect, mm -hmm. and you start believing all these things. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know is, you got a heartache, you got a headache, and you got a, <laughs> all kinds of aches. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to let it go. You say, "Wait a minute, I got to confess and get plugged in and stay plugged." Amen. Amen. It never says to unplug. That's right. But the enemy will see to it. Amen. He, he, enemy comes. The world will come friends, family, all these people come and try to oh, yeah. discourage you and say, well, you know, just this one time, you know. <laughs> you can do it this just one, one, one time, you know. Mm -hmm. But the enemy's watching. Mm -hmm. The world is watching. Amen. Mm -hmm. So don't do it. Praise God. When things are going bad, sounding bad, and looking bad. And that's what it sounds like right now. Unless you're a born-again believer and believe what the Word of God says, you know, mm -hmm. hey, I already read these things, and I know it's going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I already know I'm prepared. I spend time with him and go out and do what he's called me to do. And you can do the same thing. Amen? Mm -hmm. Come on in. Amen. <laughs> he's the one place to turn for guidance, one place to turn for help, help that will last for eternity. Amen? Woo. Running into open arms of your loving Savior that will help those who are in fear, hurting, seeking him, and drawing close to him. You know, he'll never turn you away. Uh, I, I'm going to be talking about this, but you know, an example, the prodigal son. Mm -hmm. He ran away from the father. Mm -hmm. says, I'll take what's mine and I'm gone. You know, and there's many prodigal sons and daughters out there. You ran, you're running from God, <laughs> but it's time to come home. Amen. You know, it's time, to, it's time to come home. And guess what? Listen to this. Even though he was gone, since the father went out every day and looked down the road to see if the son come back. Uh -huh. Amen. God is looking for you to come back. All you have to do is just confess it, repent, and, 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 and he'll forgive you. Yeah. And it's time to get up and, and press on with the things of God. He's not going to Hold, it, hold you down and say, I can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. People are going to say that. Mm -hmm. I can't use you anymore because you've done this. You know? mm -hmm. Don't listen to what people say. Listen to what the Word of God says. Amen. Spend time with Him. All you have to do, He's easy to talk to. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just open up and confess to Him and give it to mm -hmm. Him. You know, Don't give it to people. Don't give it to anybody else that can't help you. Right. A lot of times we run to people and confess to people that can't even help us and got more problems than we got. 
and we can't go to God in silence or I mean in, in, in privacy yeah. and confess to him we can go and, and confess it to a crowd of people but we can't confess it to him in private just that he knows already so why not just let him know Amen. I've done wrong you know I want to do right I want to come home the prodigal son that says the father looked down the road every day waiting uh -huh. expecting son to come home God is waiting for many of you to come home mm -hmm. Amen. many of you are gone many of you need to turn around mm -hmm. we talked about uh, doing a, an about face it's time to do an about face and come back to God Amen. 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 praise God <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> draw close to him. And he'll draw close to you. Mm -hmm. You know? Praise God. And we already talked about the um, scripture here. I just ahead of myself. Church, just call out to Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's one yeah. prayer away. Yeah. He's one call away. You know, we can get on our phones and call anybody oh, or everybody. <laughs> We can't get on our car, on our phone and call God, you know. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. and a lot of times we, mm -hmm. we send everybody a, a, a friend request, <laughs> and God is sending you a friend request, and you keep declining it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> God keeps calling you, and you keep hanging up. Amen. He keeps knocking it for you to come home, mm -hmm. and you not answering the door. Mm -hmm. It's you. You know who you are. Amen. He's calling you. He wants you. He wants. He's saying, "Come home. Yeah. I want you. I need you." Yeah. Amen. You're special. Yeah. When you see yourself special, when you see yourself the way He sees you yeah. and the way He equipped you, uh -huh. you know, you say, "Wow, you know, I yeah. can do this." Yeah. So it's time to come home. It's time to say, "You know, I'm tired of this world. I'm tired of this. You know, uh -huh. I'm just going to submit myself to God <laughs> and give my heart to God and say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior." Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's time to get up and get busy. Mm -hmm. And press on with the things of God, you know. He's not going to pay you. Well, you got to pay back for all the bad things you did. It's time to press on. Yes. You know? mm -hmm. People hold it against you. God's not going to hold it against That's you. Right. That's right. <laughs> He's one prayer away. He's one call away. <laughs> Do you pray? <laughs> Do you call on him? <laughs> Jesus called for strength from the Father. The gospel tells us, you know, Jesus Jesus just got away from the disciples, you know, and he went and, and, and spent time with the Father. If Jesus needed time with the Father, how much more would do yes. we need? <laughs> Lord, I need you. Like I said a few minutes ago, a lot of times we go and just vent ourselves to and yeah. confess ourselves to the wrong people that got more problems than you. Yeah. They can't help you. They can't even help themselves. Uh -huh. All right. Especially if if you had a few drinks, <laughs> man, you just let it all out. <laughs> Be careful. Amen. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Hey, I've been there, so I'm just talking about me. <laughs> the prodigal son made that call. <laughs> you know what he did? He called the father. He said, his father, I want to come home. <laughs> and when he came home, the father saw him coming. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he went and met him. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the son is, is trying to tell him, tell the father why he should treat him different. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I've done this, I've done this, I've failed here, I've failed there. And the father says, you know, hey, bring bring him a robe, bring, bring him a, a ring, bring him, mm -hmm. let's kill the fatty calf. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. let's, let's celebrate. Yeah. He that was gone is back. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. We're going to celebrate. So we're going to celebrate. You know, heaven has a party every time one comes back home. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So <laughs> you need to come back home. Yeah. It's time to have a party. Yes. <laughs> the prodigal son calls. He says, Dad, I want to come home. Dad says, come home. Mm -hmm. You know what's keeping you away? Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> it's time for you to get, just confess it all and give it all up and come back home. Yeah. Amen. So, you know, I just want to say this. When we read the word and we hear about all our Bible heroes, the Moses, you know, the Job's, uh, uh, the Jonah's, whoever, you know, all these heroes were sinners. They sinned. They sinned. Okay, they're, they're one perfect. 
But God still used them. Yes, he did. Amen. So see yourself that way. God, you sin. But guess what? Just confess it. Give it up. Mm -hmm. And God wants to, to use you. Yes, he does. Get up and go. Yes. Amen. Yes. Come on now. Right. Moses at the Red Sea. <laughs> he called on God right quick. Mm -hmm. says, Lord, I need you. What am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, you ain't got millions of people behind you <laughs> and a Red Sea in front of you. And you're calling on God, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. Amen. Whatever your problem is, it ain't that big. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> he called on God. God yes. told him what to do. <laughs> Just lift the rod and that's all it's going to, yeah, that's good. That's it? Yeah, he tells you something simple. We just need to obey. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, he lifted the rod and guess what? That Red Sea just parted. Mm -hmm. And they parted and, 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 and they walked on dry land all the way across. Mm -hmm. so, Amen. God wants to use you just, just like that. Amen. Yes. Just like a Moses. Yes. Lady with the issue of blood, <laughs> she says, just if I can just get close enough to touch. <laughs> if I can get just mm -hmm. enough to touch that garment. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. She's been having this yes. uh, bleeding, you know, for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Amen. We say, if I can just touch this garment. And guess what? Jesus in the crowd and people bumping him all over the place. Yeah. But when this lady touched him, mm -hmm. he felt that. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and he turned around and told, told his disciples, who touched me? Mm -hmm. He said, what do you mean who touched you? <laughs> Get all these people bumping into you. <laughs> that anointing yes. was released. Virtue. The virtue. Amen. Yes. And he felt that. Amen. And, 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 and she was healed. Mm -hmm. But she drew close to him. She mm -hmm. took those steps. She says, well, because of her sickness, she could have been killed. Mm -hmm. But she took steps of faith to go. Mm -hmm. You know, go anyway. Yes, you know. So praise God. You know, some of you might be uh, in prison. And you may not be able to get out anytime soon. But guess what? You still can serve God. Yeah. Since the Bible says that the Apostle Paul... Uh -huh. <laughs> wrote two-thirds of the New Testament mm -hmm. while he was in prison. Right. Yeah. So God can still use you. Yeah. There's still souls to be saved in yeah. prison. Yeah. You know, there's letters that you can write to somebody that could be saved. Amen. Mm -hmm. So God can still use you. Yeah. Amen. The only, the, only, <laughs> the only limits we have is the ones we put on ourselves. Yeah. Or we try to put on God. Mm -hmm. God is unlimited. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> so, praise God. God is good, amen? Yes, he is. <laughs> Woo! I wrote myself some notes here. In the... It says Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he refused to cease his prayers. He said, mm -hmm. you can't pray to your God. <laughs> he says, I'm, I'm not going to stop. He mm -hmm. says, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stop. He said, well, the king says, mm -hmm. if you don't stop, you go in the lion's den. He said, okay, my God is there for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And guess what? He went in the den. <laughs> he went in the, in the, in the lion's <laughs> den. <laughs> and the lions, were, their jaws was shut. Wow. Amen. All of a sudden, their bellies were full. They weren't hungry. So he just slept with the giants. And they come back the next day. And they were expecting him to be dead. He was alive. Amen. Some of us need to be resurrected. Some of us need to wake up from our, our dead spirit, you know. From a dead spirit, we need to be live. Release. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> How about David? <clears throat> David was facing a giant. A big giant. He had big giant problems. Mm -hmm. We got big giant problems right now. Coronavirus. Mm -hmm. hey, oh, 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 I'm so afraid, you know. <laughs> no. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. I'm trusting you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. But David saw the giant mm -hmm. on a daily basis. When you get up, you see these giants facing you. Uh -huh. Whatever your whatever your 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 giant happened to be, mm -hmm. it don't matter. My God is bigger. Yes, He is. And I'm going to serve Him, and I'm going to trust Him, and I'm going to have faith in Him. And He has already defeated. He has yes. already defeated all these things. All I need to do is use His word, use my yeah. authority. Amen. And that's what the, David showed us. He said, "Wait a minute, my God." Is bigger. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Mm -hmm. He has no problem. 
I'll take it. And I'm going to chop his head off. Amen. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> He's going to do it. Woo, hallelujah. Here's the one we don't talk too much about, but Joseph. Yeah. Joseph, Mary's husband, found out that she's pregnant. <laughs> mm. And he could have had her stoned. Amen. Yeah. But the angel came and told him, you know, mm -hmm. that is of God. That's the Holy Spirit. You know, and guess what? He still had a choice. And he chose to be the father. He chose to stay. And he chose to be the father to this child, to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So praise God. I mean, hey, that's a good hero right there, you know. Amen. Praise God. Woo. Joshua and the walls of Jericho, we can just go on and on and on. But Joshua, I said, Lord, I need you. I said, you need you. These walls are unpenetrable. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, they, they can't. You, we can't do nothing with them. We can't. We can't go in there. Uh -huh. And God told him, gave him this plan, and put the praisers up front. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, whatever God calls you to do and tells you to do, do it. <laughs> it may yeah. sound, may not sound right to you, but yeah. do it anyway. Amen. You know, Joshua was a general. I mean, he he led the army. Uh -huh. And God tells him to put the praisers up front. Well, he's used to putting his best soldiers up front. <laughs> But he said, put your praises up front. Uh -huh. And when he gave him this plan, Joshua did it. And then at the end, when he says, blow your trumpets, oh, shout, shout. Guess what? The walls of Jericho <laughs> came down mm -hmm. flat. <laughs> and they could just walk across and go and do what God told them to do. Yes. Amen. So, you know, whatever walls are holding you back, oh, boy. when you praise him and do what he told you to do, you can do these things. Amen. Yes. You can go and do what God calls you to do. And don't be the uh, the weak one. Be the strong one. Amen. Because mm -hmm. he's with you. Yeah. I like this one, Jonah. In the belly of the fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, he drove close to God. He couldn't go any further. <laughs> but you know what? He was running away from God. Yes, like, like a lot of us do. He was running away from God. Mm. He even told the captain of the ship, you're having problems because I'm running from God. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. So he says, you know what? If you throw me over, <laughs> if you throw me over, it's going to solve your problem. Mm -hmm. And he said, mine's beginning. <laughs> throw me over. And he did. But God had already arranged for the fish to swallow him. Yes. Amen. <laughs> anyway. That's Amen. Uh, <laughs> you gotta be strong in faith to finally say, Lord, I'm giving in. Uh, it's time for you to give in and just yes. surrender yourself. Says, yes. surrender, surrender yourself to God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Surrender yourself. And that's what Jonah did. And guess what? Mm -hmm. The fish even brought him to the, the, the shore of Nineveh and spit him out. Mm -hmm. And he went and fulfilled what God called him to do. Yes. So, whatever, listen, God has given you these gifts. Amen. And he's not taking these gifts back. Amen. He said he'll never take them back. Right. So you need to spend time with him. Find out what gifts you have. Mm -hmm. Amen. What talents you have. What gifts you have. Because he's not taking them back. That's right. Like the world does. Yeah. Like everybody else does. Take back whatever they gave you. Mm. But he gave them to you for mm. you to use. But yes. he gave them to you to fulfill what God Mm -hmm. Called you to do. Yes. Amen. And that's what we forget. <laughs> God gifted you so that you can do the works of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on now. Right. I hate to stand before him one day and say, why didn't you use the gift I gave you? Mm. Uh, I didn't know. Well, that's not a good excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You know why you don't know? Because you never, never got, asked. You never, you never asked and you never spent time with him. Yeah. Yeah. When you spend time with him and find out what he gifted you, then do it. Amen. Mm -hmm. And don't let the world, don't let people talk you out of it. That's right. Or say, well, <laughs> is that all God called you to do? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm going to do it under him. Right. And when you do it under him, in Colossians yeah. 3, 23, 24, mm -hmm. it says when you do it under God, you know, everything's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Right. No matter what the world says. That's it. <laughs> Remember, we're to be God pleasers, not yeah. people pleasers. That's right. Amen. A couple of scriptures here. 
Well, the Hebrew children, you know that one too. I mean, they got thrown in a furnace, but God met them there. Mm -hmm. Wherever you happen to be, wherever you be, be at, we talked yeah. about prison, wherever you happen to be, God is with you. Yes, he right. is. He didn't put you there. You got yourself there, mm -hmm. but he said he never leaves us, nor forsake us. That's right. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. He said he never leaves you, nor forsake you. He is with you. Mm -hmm. But the three Hebrew children, the ones that threw them in there, were burnt, were killed. Yes. And fire was so hot. And still, and still, they said, wait a minute, we threw three in there, but we see four. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Well, guess what? God is with you. Amen. Yeah. God is with you. And he has no favorites. Yes. You're his favorite. Amen. Yes. He's not going to turn you down. Amen. And I want to close with these uh, couple of scriptures here. Um, because we tend to speak the problem and magnify the problem more than we magnify God. But, All right. you know, go, go to your Bible. And go to Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. I'm going to read it to you from another translation in a few minutes. But go to Second Chronicles uh, seven fourteen. Mm -hmm. And uh, a quick commercial here is: <laughs> mark your Bibles, <laughs> highlight your Bibles, <laughs> underline your Bibles. You know, uh, personalize your Bibles. If you're not mm -hmm. doing that, get you one that you can. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. But Second Chronicles, uh, seven fourteen. Mm -hmm. That's right after First Chronicles. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. It says what? If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. complain. No. Oh, pray. Pray. And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Mm -hmm. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Awesome. Amen. Amen. So we got something to do. We're his people. Amen. Yes. Let me uh, read it to you from this translation here. It says, it is an expanded Bible. It says, Then if my people who are called by my name, mm -hmm. he says in parentheses, belong to me. Uh -huh. If you're a child of God, yeah. amen. It says, if my people who are called by my name, yeah. people that belong to me, says, will humble themselves if they will pray. It didn't say complain. It didn't say gossip. Uh, <laughs> it says, if they pray. Yeah. Amen. If they pray. Yeah. Pray and more. seek me uh, or my face. Uh -huh. Amen. And will stop their evil ways. Put your evil ways, put your complainings, you know, and, and magnifying your problems, you know, seek me says, I will hear them from heaven. I will hear. You know how many times you heard that? Well, God is deaf. I pray. And he don't he had never, never answered my prayers. <laughs> you know, a lot of times we just go and unload on him uh, and walk away. Yep. Well you never heard anything from him. You know, right. you just spend time to wait, wait long enough to, to see what he was gonna say. Uh -huh. But also remember with prayer, it's his timing. Mm -hmm. Not my timing, it's right. his timing. Amen. Yeah. Well, he answered a, a certain, certain prayer a, a one way. Maybe the other one is a different way. Mm -hmm. what, what time? I mean, that's his, that's his way. Mm -hmm. Amen? So it's God's way, not my way. Or not your way. Yeah. But we're to pray. Yeah. <laughs> I will hear them from heaven. I will forgive their sin, mm -hmm. and I will heal Restore mm -hmm. their land. That's what we're praying yeah. for them now. You know, say, well, we want things to be healed. We want yeah. things to be restored. Then yeah. pray. Are you praying? Oh no. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. He says, God, you want God to hear? Well then, yeah. uh, pray. 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 Let me see what else I got coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, we already went through that. Go ahead. Oh, stay plugged. Oh, we'll go in a few minutes here. It says, pray, pray, pray. Not complain, not gossip. Prayer helps. Complain doesn't. Mm -hmm. Share the good news, the gospel. Not the gossip. <laughs> We're the church of the gospel, not uh -huh. church of the gossip. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. 
showcase God. Mm -hmm. We're church at a good report, not church at a bad report. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> and we talked about it uh, last week. Uh, whose report are you going to believe? Mm -hmm. Are you going to believe the bad report or are you going to believe the good report? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. No matter what you heard, God's got the final word. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm believing on your word. I'm believing God's report. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, but you got to stay connected. You got to stay plugged. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me see what this says. Stay plugged. Stay connected to Jesus. Not to the booze. <laughs> not to the drugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trouble comes to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yet Jesus is the source of all that you need. When regrets, doubts, and fears start to pull you down, you've lost your connection mm -hmm. with your source of strength. Right, amen. <laughs> it says, plug back into the source of power, the mm -hmm. source of forgiveness, the yeah. source of faith, uh -huh. the source of love, mm -hmm. the source of health, the source of patience, the mm -hmm. source of peace, the source of hope, the source of all that you need. Mm -hmm. Stay connected to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Stay close to the source. Yeah. <laughs> Stay plugged Stay in. in. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I mean, this is awesome. Yeah. It's very simple. All you need to do is, is stay, is stay connected. Stay plugged. You know, if you have a vacuum, I was here vacuuming yesterday. <laughs> and it works great when I plug it in. Mm. Man, it runs good. Mm. And it works. But guess what? If I don't plug it in, I can't do nothing. That's it. it won't, won't do what it's supposed to do. As children of God, we can do our best as we stay connected to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we have word from him. Amen. And we have relationship. That's what church is all about. Right. It's being connected uh, to, to the source. Amen. Amen. So he is the vine and we are the branch. branch. Amen. And the last scripture is this. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. I want to read it to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know if I had that one. Go ahead. Oh, I got a funny for you. <laughs> the two turtles are talking. You, didn't, you ever seen a talking turtle? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the ninja turtles. Mm. It says, wow, look at how she glides above the water. The other one says, ah, uh, says it's not her. Can't do it. She says she can't do it unless she's connected to the boat. And the boat says what? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. You couldn't do it if she wasn't connected. Mm. A lot of things we can't do unless we're connected to him. We can't do anything without him, period. Amen. So praise God. Amen. And of course, uh, uh, John 15, 5 in the NIV says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. nothing. Amen. So remember that. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in the Amplified, I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified and then we'll close. Yeah. It says, Amplified says, Rejoice always and delight in your faith. Mm -hmm. Be unceasing and persistent in prayer. Mm -hmm. In every situation, no matter what the circumstance, be thankful and continually give thanks to God. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, many Christians will tell you they want to love God. They want to go come to God. They want to be su uh, succeeding God and do all these things in God. But guess what? Mm -hmm. They're not putting those steps of faith in their, uh, in their walk. Yeah. Yep. They need to give in, to commit, uh, sur uh, surrender, commit themselves to God. Yes. And stop walking in faith. Amen. Amen. So praise God. praise God. So we draw to him. Since God loves you. And he loves to draw close to you. Uh -huh. And uh, we got to do this on a daily basis. Yes, we got to draw close to him on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. So praise God. He's done what he's done. And we got to do yes. our part. Yes. Amen. And the Bible tells us we can do all things through Christ. All so, things. you know, it's time to put the excuses aside. Uh -huh. And can't use them anymore. Amen. So praise God. How do you think God feels? Or what kind of excuses he's heard? I'm sure he's heard them all. I'm sure he's heard them all. So praise God. Amen. So if you're watching, you're listening, just want you to know God has called you. God has equipped you. God 
has anointed you. Amen. Amen. So it's time to come home. Amen. Amen. If you never confess Jesus, you're going to say you now is time. All you have to do is say, Lord Amen. Jesus, I repent. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Yes. And be my Lord and Savior. Uh -huh. Amen. When you do this, you know what? You're born again. Uh -huh. You're born again. And it's time for you to start making changes. And start living for him. And start yes. getting up and pressing on with him. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Praise if God. you're hurting right now, whatever your hurt happens to be, whatever you happen to be going through, just know that by Jesus Christ we're healed. Amen. Because the word of God says it. And we can stand on that. And you know, yes. we just pray, body. Line up with the Word of God. Yes. Receive your healing now in yeah. Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Touch uh, your body, wherever you be hurting, you know, and just have faith and release your faith. Amen. Amen. And just say, by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And now we're just going to give you a great time uh, to give. Yes. <laughs> Those of you that are watching and listening, give your tithes and offerings. Uh, if you look at the screen, you'll see the information there, uh, nbcbigben.com, uh, and press the donate button if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, and once again, we just wanted to say thank you, amen, yeah. praise God, God bless yeah. you. Amen. Glory to God.